what is the battle of the sexes in game theory? And this is one of the classic games where we have a specific story in a weird scenario, a little bit weird, but it represents broadly other scenarios you're going to observe in the real world, if you can recognize these game theory patterns. So the setup for the classic game is you have a man and a woman in a relationship. They want to be doing the same thing, and they would much prefer to do something together than, than separately. But um, the two possible options, ballet and football, the woman prefers ballet, the man prefers football. So um, if we solve this, this situation, like if we're at ballet, they both like this better than being alone, but the woman really likes it and the man just sort of likes it, whereas the reverse is true on football. Now let's solve for Nash equilibrium. And we can see that we have two Nash equilibrium, but that one person prefers one equilibrium, the other person prefers the other equilibrium, and that the off equilibrium scenarios are worse for both players than either Nash equilibrium. And those are going to be the three traits of a battle of the sexes scenario. So let me write those down. Now if we look at this second trait, the fact that each player has a different favorite Nash equilibrium, what that means is that there's actually kind of a winner and a loser. And what makes this really interesting is that this is a cooperative game. The two players are trying to cooperate with each other to avoid these off equilibrium, each person going off and doing their own thing. But at the same time, while there's cooperation, there's also competition because there's kind of a winner and a loser between the cooperative outcomes. And you see this all over the place. For example, in any scenario where you have a group of people who are making a decision and they know they have to work together for that decision, but some people have one opinion about what they should do, other people have another opinion about what they should do. Um, it's this exact setup where there will be a winner and a loser, even though there's cooperation deeply built into that game. And I think sometimes economists will think of uh, cooperation and competition as opposites, like polar opposites. This really shows us actually in a lot of scenarios where there is cooperation, there's also competition going on. And in a lot of situations where there's competition, there may actually be cooperation as well. And how those two things are intermeshed is really, really important. And then of course, um, I do want to point out that if you just go with the first two traits of this game, two Nash, and each player has a different preferred Nash, that's actually not enough to get you a Battle of the Sexes game because the game of chicken, which is a different classic game theory setup, actually meets these first two criteria. So if you want to distinguish it from the game of chicken, you need this third criteria, which are that the off equilibrium are actually worse for both players than either Nash, meaning they both really want to avoid these off equilibria. And in game of chicken, that's not necessarily going to be the case. So the off equilibrium does matter. It matters for how games play out. Um, and that's just a quick overview of Battle of the Sexes in Game Theory.